Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to the, this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition, we're going to work on uh, creating the new uh, bed for the laser. If you remember, uh, in a prior video, I showed removing this existing bed and uh, the clamping mechanism. So, one of the things that I did look at is um, uh, the various uh, materials and on eBay you can buy some honeycomb bed and everything but I just went down to Home Depot and got this piece of screen it's it's uh, 12 inches by 24 inches and basically I placed this down and I just marked it over here um, you know for the, for this edge to again make it as big as this to set in there and again one of the things as I mentioned we'll be lowering the uh, brackets and I'll show you that when we go to put it in uh, however uh, right now I'm just going to cut this out so uh, I'm going to use the Dremel with a diamond cutting uh, metal blade on it just to go through touch the inside now one of the things I am going to do is I'm going to kind of put this over here as a guide um, and I'm going to cut on the inside of these because uh, these do stand a little bit proud of the outside of this so in order to make this fit we're going to cut on the inside uh, of these blades so uh, uh, I'll show this in kind of uh, fast motion so I'll split the video here and we'll do some cutting Well, after that cutting, let's see what we got. Uh, actually, if you notice, I had to stop and switch blades uh, in the middle of this. So I think, uh, again, that did a pretty good job of cutting through it. So we now have, uh, as you see on top of the bench, I had a piece of uh, an MDF. So here we go. So here, here is our bed. So uh, let's uh, switch over to the laser printer and let's see about see how it fits in there. Okay, we've now got the uh, the bed installed inside the printer, so we went through earlier measuring it and cutting it. Uh, so again, you can now see it inside the bed. Uh, one of the pieces, we had to keep it a little bit proud of the, of the stepper motor here that runs the Y-axis, um, but we did run it all the way back here to basically the entry point of the exhaust vent, if you will. So that's all put in place now and so what we did too is I printed these uh, uh, spacers for the uh, on the 3D printer basically what this does is uh, simply allow the screen to come out because uh, as you see and I have this up on Thingiverse so I recessed the nuts in there so a bit of it you can see here we have just enough of the bolt sticking out so it sits in these various holes so I can remove it for cleaning or if I need to put a deeper object in uh, or something like that. So this really works nice for that that aspect uh, and it, it just pops in and sits in the, um, in the holes. It takes a little bit, well there we go, so it just pops in the holes after you have to do a little bit of adjustment to get it lined up. Um, so it sits in there very nicely, you can take it out, put deeper things in, clean it up. I, I do understand that there's a little back reflection or could be a little back reflection uh, from the uh, the grating itself and one of the things that I do plan on doing is, is creating some pylons to set in here on top of the screen because we do have to, for, for thinner objects, raise it up because again we need to come to right about here on the uh, cut height, uh, about five centimeters uh, here, you know, in. Uh, so that should help with it because it'll be act like kind of like a little bit of a pin bed. So 
Uh, once I cut those out of some aluminum stock, I'll, I'll show a video on that, but I wanted to show this uh, bed because I think it worked out actually pretty good. Haven't really had a chance to use it yet, but I anticipate it uh, to be just fine and cut various things out. So, anyways, um, kind of a cheap economical bed, so, uh, you know, about 10 bucks to, uh, you know, get the whole thing. The screen was about 9 bucks, and then, you know, four number 8 bolts. These are number 8 bolts and nuts. Um, I think three quarter inch actually. Uh, the actual um, uh, shims are six six millimeters high, recessed by three millimeters, so they're three millimeters and three on the other side. So they take up about six. So it allows just enough uh, bolt to to come through to um, to separate it enough to uh, you know leave enough of a bolt that sticks in the in in his pin. So again. Um, been a pretty handy little upgrade. Uh, if you like this video, please click like below. Please subscribe to the channel. A bunch more coming. Uh, we'll be doing a video on the air assist and, and laser aiming I've installed here in uh, upcoming video. I've got to do some more wiring and changes uh, for that. Uh, but wanted to do a bed video. Cheers.